What's going on, guys? My name is Jordan, and welcome to my flipping life. So today is a totally different type of video, and I think you guys will enjoy it as we are coming into the Christmas season. We have decided to get some tickets online and visit a local place about 30 minutes away. This place is called Castle Noel in Medina, Ohio. And this place is awesome. It's an old church man bought and he has completely redone it. And it's the world's largest year round indoor Christmas display. There's like three, four things outside. You're inside, you watch a movie explaining about, you know, his life and how he ended up with the property and uh, his love for Christmas. And then you're outside briefly and you look at Cousin Eddie's uh, RV and stuff like that. And then you go right back inside through the whole display he has. And he has window displays from, what is it, Bloomingdale's, Saks Fifth Ave, Macy's. Uh, there's all kinds of stores, like the big stores in New York City. And he does a phenomenal job. He restores this stuff. And it just, it looks incredible. And I love all the Grinch and the Hootville stuff and the, the Santa Claus stuff. Uh, I, I love those movies. So just seeing all that, then he has the outfits, the props, all the displays they used. It's just so incredible. And he's a true artist. This is what he does for a living. And he rebuilds these props because they're supposed to destroy these. And somehow he gets his hands on them. So all these beautiful window displays that you see in New York City during Christmas time, they're up from Thanksgiving until New Year's. And when New Year's is over, they completely destroy them. They take them down and destroy them, dispose of them, never to be seen again. They don't want anyone to end up with them, and then they end up on eBay or something like that. That's why they destroy them. So he sneaks in. Not so much sneaks in. He's got connections now. And uh, he hits them up, and they come, and they take them down, and he buys them and sets them up here in Medina. And now that he's established and they know what he does, so now they're in cahoots together. So now if uh, there's some new stuff that he wants, he just kind of goes up there and picks it up. Like they had stuff in the restoration room, which I didn't film any of that. And he has stuff from last year's 2020 windows, which they're all working on restoring. And they'll be out for display next year for 2022. So they had lots and lots and lots of cool stuff. I uh, just wanted to give you like a brief explanation. I'll probably jump in throughout the video and try to explain some more stuff too. But I just wanted to show you what we're getting into for the holiday season. Uh, I'm putting out a light video of my own showing you my display. But I just wanted to show you uh, what we've done today at this awesome location local to us. Uh, if you're in the area, go check it out. Uh, I believe four of us. It cost us $85 for all the tickets. And it was about two hours long. So it's pretty good for what it is. It's, it's pretty good. A lot of stuff you'll never see anywhere else. So this is a very, very unique place. So if you're in the area, check it out. The reindeer they use in the film. Come on in, folks. There's the room. See the reindeer. But it's an, in the film, it was, it moved. His eyes moved. His mouth. His head. And it took three men. To... First thing you notice is all these faces. They're very different because they were actually sculpted by a French sculptor, so they kept it in the French tone. And of course, it's the story of Clara. She's here on the bed. She's dreaming of a nutcracker. And her mama's ginger's there. The children of the world dance around underneath her. Come on down, we're gonna go to see you. I was gonna see this thing. <laughs> well, Clara's like, uh uh, no, 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 no way. All that she wants is on the top shelf of the case. She would love to have that nutcracker. Let's go to Christmas Day and see if she's got it. There's finest men with them, all ready to go, happily fed. The nutcracker, he's brought his finest men on those beautiful horses. 
So the display you're about to see in this next clip is Cindy Lou Who's actual bedroom display from the movie The Grinch. And they said that the guy that owns the building found this woman in Colorado that wanted to use it in a nail salon. And he said, uh, no, not with nail polish is not supposed to go on display props like from movies it's gonna ruin it and so he actually flew to colorado built her a grinch whoville cindy lou who kind of themed nail salon in trade for that display and a bunch of other stuff that somehow she ended up with from the film so that was a very cool a uh, bit of information they provided to us. And like I said, this guy's an artist. So he flew out there, built her a salon based off this theme and took the real display items and brought them back here to Medina. All right, we have one of our more popular window displays here. Oh, it's actually from a movie set, right? Let's get everybody in first. Oh my God. Yeah. So the head you're about to see in this next clip is from Tim Allen's The Santa Claus. This is a really cool prop. I love it. It's so awesome. I don't even know how he gets this stuff. But check this out. So the outfits you just saw there are from Arnold Schwarzenegger's Jingle All The Way. That is the legitimate suits and outfits they wore in the filming of that movie. And also the Turbo Man doll that they were after in the movie. And then directly after that, you see the huge nutcrackers from the other Santa Claus movie. And they're massive. They're way up on top. And I show you those. It's really hard to film those because he has them way up top on up <laughs> towards the ceiling. But it was really cool. That was a new addition. I've never seen that before. So those are new for this year. But how cool is it just for him to have all this stuff?
All right, this next clip is my absolute favorite because I love this movie. Jim Carrey absolutely did a phenomenal job doing The Grinch. So this next bit of movie memorabilia and props <laughs> is, is incredible what they have here. They have so much stuff from The Grinch. It is absolutely amazing. And this next bit is the uh, dumpster shoot that he jumps in and slaps the button and he shoots down to his lair and stuff. And then it goes into his huge sleigh. He has the legitimate sleigh from the movie. And I really videotape this one as best as I can to show all the details and just the junk they have on this thing in the movie. And it is amazing. I love it. And I hope you love it as much as I do. actual one from the movie. So the ending clip there, you see my kids getting ready to do a photo with Eddie's RV. I tried to get my wife to get one because he has the uh, the sewage pipe going into the ground. And I was like, hey, you know, shit is full. <laughs> she didn't take a picture of me. But leaving all of that and showing you like where the Grinch is, when you walk behind the sleigh, you walk up this big mountain. Uh, it's like Santa Mountain, I think it's what it's called. And uh, Santa Claus is there. And then... You go down the slide from the movie The Christmas Story that's in that, you know, the department store where he kicks that kid down the slide. They have the slide from the legitimate movie, and that's how you exit the the whole display that they have. And you get a little piece of carpet, and you sit down and ride the slide from the movie. They photograph you at the top with Santa Claus, and then an elf pushes you down. And then you can, uh, they photograph you going down the slide and then you can purchase those pictures if you want. Uh, we didn't purchase any because my littlest one was making goofy faces and wasn't having the pictures. I took my youngest with me down the slide and we were going so fast that the, the picture was blurry. So we didn't buy any of our photos. But you have the option to buy your photos if you want. And if not, you don't have to. Uh, but it is a very awesome display and they have so much stuff from movies, so much movie memorabilia. And like I said, if you're in the area, definitely check this out, especially if you love Christmas, because this has everything to do with Christmas. So if you're a Christmas nut, this is definitely the place to check out. And they have so much memorabilia from movies and just displays from all over. And this guy is a true genius and he's a extremely phenomenal artist a great wheeler and dealer to end up getting this stuff and the connections that he's got to put this display on and it's really something something very unique to see and and 
just be in that moment when you're in there. So I'm not a huge Christmas guy. As you guys know that Halloween is my season. But going there and looking at all that in the the hallway with 100,000 Christmas bulbs, ornaments, is, is incredible. The, the work in time he put into this place. So I will insert some photos here at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.